you have heard of uh, you know um, lakes busting their their, their banks, their, their boundaries, and you know people getting uh, dislodged, people getting displaced, you know, and the and like yeah, the, the water levels rising, and there's a saying in Uganda that amaziga uh, kulukutira jigaliga kulukutide that yeah that water will always uh, <laughs> water will always flow where it has uh, flown before, you know. And going back to Lake Kwania in in Lira, where we have seen. Uh, uh, again, the water levels rising. It's 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 it's, it's a paradox in its in its own way. Just tell us about this um, whole experience of, uh, of of the team yeah. on, um, on the canoe. And uh, I saw there was a, a lead canoe, then there was a, a middle one, and then there was a follow canoe. Yeah. How did all this add up? When we reached Lira, mm. we thought we we're just going to to be a ten or so minutes drive, but we had to go to Agwata, uh, and it was so has a village, Kachung, mm. that is on the shores of uh, Lake Kwania. Mm. The engineers told us we had to go on a canoe for two kilometers into the lake. Where we are standing, we have uh, an intake inside the lake. It's about two kilometers okay. from here. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> I personally couldn't continue throughout the whole journey. We dropped off on an island. But the sight, the devastation caused by climate change is real. Uh, five villages were swallowed. You will see as we will enter uh, inside the lake. There is a health center which was submerged. People here, homes were submerged. Uh, here there was a farm. Those houses you are seeing, those uh, iron sheets, they are submerged. So uh, when you go on my left, many people uh, lost their properties. As they are saying that it's going to be worse than this, we just need to prepare ourselves. It's a huge challenge on a canoe, not not a boat, but a canoe. These little you know makeshift things uh, for, for 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 a distance of over two kilometers. We are now into the deep waters of the lake. It's a dangerous area. This is a line called Kwania 33 kV. It gets its power from Lira Main Substation and traverses through the districts of uh, Lira, Dokoro. And then our main client or customer is National Water on this feeder. When you cut off here, then Lira is in a problem. So I want to appreciate our women and uh, I want to thank you for uh, working with us to ensure that we are still operating. There has been a lot of challenges to access the network such that we restore power hasn't been easy. There has been a lot of uh, risks, majorly the technical team that is required to go and restore power within minimal time. Where we have just reached, it is halfway. This road is a narrow road. We have to work within the corridors of uh, this road. We are also faced with uh, this water weed. It blocks our way. So as we, the boat driver, we have to struggle very hard to remove the what? The water weed. The moment it has what? It has covered the pathway. We work day and night as per our schedule. We have created an emergency team to attend to this emergency. Restore power within minimal time. These engineers go through a lot to ensure that, you know, Dokolo and Lira are you know, are served. As long as they switch on and their light is on, that's a given. They just imagine this is okay. I think I am now able to charge my phone. I can now go on TikTok. I can I can go and you know do all that. But uh, there's a lot, a lot more that happens in the background to ensure that uh, actually we have this service uh, delivered. Lake levels could raise at a higher speed than the intervention we were doing, as you saw on the way as we were coming. 
looking at the canoe, you see collaborative efforts between uh, Umeme and then uh, National Water, how the guys are really working hard to ensure that uh, at the end of the day, they are delivering this ultimate important service. I appreciate the team spirit that Umeme is really showing up whenever we call upon them for rescue to keep these communities have water. Without Umeme, we cannot supply our customers. For me, this is um, a very you know, a touching story that before I even uh, start complaining about uh, you know, how water disappears anytime, how electricity disappears anytime, I put myself in the shoes of you know, these engineers who have to dare you know, uh, the, lake, the, the depth of the lake on, uh, on a canoe to go and deliver you know, such a service. You can only appreciate uh, the selflessness uh, that these engineers go through when you get down there. It's passion, it's commitment, it's, it's hard work. These are our local heroes for their selflessness in uh, ensuring that this service is delivered. I think these guys deserve uh, a pat on their backs. Exactly. It helps you appreciate you know, the troubles that we go through to keep the lights on. For the community uh, and for the greater good of, um, of humanity.